Hello, welcome back. I have another vlog for you. Um, it's been a past, it's been an interesting past couple days. Um, I don't know if there's like an actual wasp nest outside my window. And, well, I never open my window anyways, so. Yeah, I never open my window anyways, so. Uh, yeah, there's that. Um, now, warning. If you have a fear of bees or anything with more than three legs, I suggest you fast forward to this part. But I don't know if you can see them or not. But they're like literally... I don't know. Because I can see them. I don't know if you can see them or not. It's like an actual nest. But Ooh. name them Ralph and Lauren. I know they say when you actually name something, you start going attached to it. One of them they watch, so I don't see myself getting attached to it. But at first it was one of them and now they're two. But anyways, we'll see what that goes. I just finished my workout. Um, it's a little easier today. I mean, it's still, still hard, but it was easier today. Um, yesterday, I just felt like really drained. I don't know if it was the tequila or... I don't know. I just felt really drained. And I wasn't the only one. You know, I have like three other roommates. I wasn't the only one that felt that way. So I don't know. I don't know what that was about. But it could have very well been the tequila. Uh, it, was a, it was a much stronger tequila than we normally get. So I'm going to find me something to eat now. So I ran out of my stuff, you know, I'm on this Herbalife journey. I ran out of stuff for my for my smoothies, which I feel like is the essential part of it. I ran out of it and I just got it today. So I can actually start that back up. So I went the entire day yesterday without having stuff my smoothies but that's okay one day isn't gonna hurt anything um i got the same one i always get um it's like the email uh, cheesecake the strawberry cheesecake one that's the one i always get Strawberry cheesecake. It's the one I always get. So, I've actually, since I've been more consistent with it, working out and everything, I've actually lost some weight, which is a good thing. Um, so I now have to get, I'm trying to decide if I actually want to eat something or if I want a smoothie. Decisions, 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 because you know. My trainer tells me to get the smoothie. Or, you know, I'm supposed to have a smoothie first thing in the morning, which sometimes I don't. Sometimes I actually want to eat something and chew. I know at one point I had a moment where I was completely smoothied out. Like, I didn't want another smoothie. I didn't want to look at another smoothie. But he was like, you know what? You got to push through it. You got a uh, goal that you're trying to meet. You got to push through it. So I'm like, okay. Okay, fine. Which goes to, which is my next thing. Like, even when something's difficult, push through. Because you never know how close you are to actually meeting that goal. And I feel like I'm at a point now where I'm actually starting to see progress. Uh, not just with my body, but just mentally, too. I, uh, I actually want to go a little, you know, I actually want to push myself a little harder. Um, but, um... I'm not sure what I want to eat. 
I'm not actually doing a smoothie. I don't know. I might actually do a smoothie. I don't know. Decisions, decisions. This is this. I'm gonna actually have to cook something. Hmm. Yeah. Well, let's just see what wins. I'll check back with you later. So, smoothie one. Because I'm just kind of like, I want something cold. And smoothie is the coldest thing that we have. So, I'm going to make a smoothie. smooth I don't like chunks in my smoothies I, I, sorry it just kind of ruins it for me um okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put this together and I'm gonna check back smoothie complete I definitely need to eat this. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do today. It's really nice out, but I'm pretty sure it's hot. This this Georgia heat is no joke. Like, it's like absolutely no joke when I tell you. Like, I was out in the other day. Oh, that reminds me. I gotta tell you. So. I had my first photo shoot what, the day before yesterday. Very first photo shoot. I was nervous as hell. So now I'm just waiting to see what the images look like. And I'm probably posting them on my Instagram if you're not following. What are you doing? But. <laughs> Um, I was a little nervous because this was my first time actually doing it. So if you're in Georgia, if you're in Atlanta, you um you know more than look you ugh, can't talk right now. You more than likely know about the Olymp the, the Olympian, the Olympic sign or whatever. That's downtown. And I had to 
do a couple pictures there. Um, it felt very different because then you have people who are actually like tourists or people who are just kind of enjoying their day walking by, waiting for their turn to take a picture and I'm just sitting there looking all put together. I'm like, okay. Um, why are these people staring? Like, they're like watching. So it, it was just a really different experience for me. Um, but overall, I thoroughly, I really enjoyed myself. Um, the guy that shot the photos, uh, Sinclair Bray, I'll link, he, I'll link his YouTube page down below, but he's a photographer as well. Uh, he does sketching and all sorts of things, but I'll put his link down below. So if you need to get some photos, if you're an aspiring model, whatever, He's, he's serious about his work, so I definitely would advise you to get in contact with him. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just waiting to see. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm kind of excited. I keep saying I'm nervous because I, I just, I, I can't believe I actually did it. I stepped outside of my comfort zone and I actually did it. Not to mention, like, I had to rush to get, the, you know, um, get ready because I didn't know that he was on his way to the location. I didn't know <sighs> that he was on his way. We never really discussed a time. So when he called and told me that, hey, I'm on my way, uh, but I'm running a little behind, I'm like, wait, we never talked about a time when we were coming. I had a bunch of other things that I wanted to do, but didn't get a chance to do. But it's okay, it worked out in the end. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just wait and see these photos. Like I said, I probably will post the one or ones that I like on Instagram. Um, my Instagram will also be down below in the description box. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do today. Today might be a rather relaxed day. I might watch some anime, I don't know. I think I need to catch up on that. I think I need to catch up on the anime. I need some new ones to watch too. I, I don't know what else. I mean, I know about the common ones. I know about One Piece and all of that. I just, I don't know. I want some different ones to watch. Something completely different. And I know there's like a bunch of them on Netflix. So it's just like, which ones are good? I don't want to waste my time. But I'll figure it out. Um, yeah. Oh. So, so initially when I started off doing Herbalife, I want to say I was maybe 210. I am now closer to 200 area. 200. I'm kind of proud of that because for the longest I've been trying to figure out like, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong my eating i like to snack and if i don't have anything healthy on standby i'm gonna go for the nearest thing so i had to be more serious about um how much i was snacking well not be serious about that but it's kind of got me kind of got out the extra weight on me in the first place was the snacking but I had to be serious about, you know, my dieting and things like that. And it's kind of what I thought. I wasn't eating enough vegetables or I was, you know, again, snacking too much. Um, so once I really started paying attention to what I was eating, it kind of made things a little easier. And I already know once I get past 200, it's, it's, the challenge is still going to continue because I'm going to have to go even harder. And I don't have much of a choice in the matter. <laughs> I don't have much of a choice in the matter. I got to, things got to change. Things gotta change. When you are really focused and you are really looking for results, you're going to do whatever it takes to make it happen. Um, but yeah, we are okay. I'm sorry, that's one of my roommates. I can actually hear him through his door. 
Yeah. I can hear him through his door. Um, I don't know what he's talking about. I just hear noise. So, um, okay, well, I'll check back in a bit. I still need to figure out what I'm going to do. I really need to clean this room up. My room's a hot, well, it's not a hot mess, but it's, it's a mess. It's enough for me to say something about it. <sighs> that sounded so wrong. Anyways, um, I'll check back later. Okay. Okay. So, I'm like scrolling through Netflix and I had no clue. They must have just done this, but freaking Shaman King is on Netflix right now. And I'm like excited. I'm excited because like I mean, it says 2001, but I used to watch this show, like, I don't, it just come on, like, Saturday mornings. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, gonna have to, I'm gonna have to watch this at some point. I'm going to have to watch this. I have, like, a, a long list of stuff that I need to watch. <sighs> I think today is gonna be a binge day. I mean, I'm probably going to do a little research on the call on some things, too. But I think definitely today is going to be a bench. I'm just like, I, <laughs> the level of excitement I am right now, it's not even funny. Like, freaking Shaman King. Like, that was like one of those shows that you caught it when you caught it. You really didn't know when it came on, but you knew when you, you knew when you saw it. You sat down and watched it. <sighs> yep. I think I know what I'm going to be watching today. And it's been so long. I really don't remember all of the episodes. It's, it's been so long. So I'm really going to have to watch this. Along with a bunch of other stuff. That, along with a bunch of other stuff that I have on my list. I've got like a bunch of stuff. Um, I don't know where to start. <sighs> Orange is the new black. God, I miss that show. But yeah. Looks like I had a bunch of shows to watch. Today's gonna be that kind of day. It's just gonna be really dark. Like it's like getting ready to rain. Like I do like hear that. Like it's thunder. Of course, I'm such an oddball. This is like my kind of weather. I love thunderstorms. But um Hi. Do work. About to make me a little snacky snack. Not sure what though. I might do like a granola type of situation. Um, I don't know. I just, I just, I think I just want something kind of light. I don't want a salad though. I might have one later on. Maybe a little egg. I don't know. But I'm not quite sure. Food. Make this light on. Um. I probably should have saved that for today. So last night I had nachos. But they were like vegan nachos like they were made with like the beyond beef instead of actually like hamburger meat i actually knew it was like beyond beef um i had that and i had some vegan cheese it's like a vegan cheese sauce like one of my roommates he makes vegan meals well roommate slash friends he makes like a, like vegan meals so he made like a sauce it was like a cheese sauce and it's actually pretty good so i had that 
along with some some chips. I didn't have a lot of it. I didn't have like a big lavish plate like I would have loved to, but it's one thing I had to learn how to do is not deprive myself, but at the same time, eat in moderation. Um, or, you know, scale back, eat smaller portions of all the bad things. Um, so I guess I'm kind of low-key cheating a little bit, but I don't care. I'm gonna care, but I don't care. Um, I'm not sure though what I want to do. I might make a wrap. That does sound good. A wrap. I think I'm gonna make a wrap. Since seeing this now, I have actually have lettuce. I might just ooh. Okay, okay. So I had this crazy idea to do a wrap. But I just realized that I don't have any chicken. I don't have any chicken. Um, I don't have any chicken. So, what I'm doing is using this Beyond Beef sausage. It's Italian sausage and it's spicy. Um, let me see if I can actually show you. Um, so. It's this here. This is the only one I get. I don't know if you can see it. That was a horrible attempt. It's this one here. That's the only one I ever get. Is the spicy Italian. I only get that one. Um, so I keep looking off to the side. I'm just trying to make sure everything is in order but that's the only one I ever get like I don't like the regular I just I don't know why I like a little kick in everything I eat a little just a little bit of spice um it's like really trying to pour down but yeah so I've got it in the air fryer and I'm gonna like spice it up and just lay it out I've got my um my tortilla my shell here so We'll see what happens. Um, I think I'm not sure if I'm gonna do hummus or if I'm gonna do guacamole. I don't know. We'll see. Like also, this stuff right here, it's actually really good. Um, when I first Ate it, it was okay, but I think it became better when I started having those sweet cravings. So I feel like this is a better option next to ice cream because I can just get a spoonful and sit down. I guess there's so much sugar in one spoonful, it like kind of calms my craving. I don't, I try not to do it all the time. Only time I dip into it a little bit more as if I haven't eaten as much, because now I'm thinking about calories. But uh, it's, probably, it's probably still bad for me to eat. It's like a edible, what is it? It's like edible cookie dough with Toll House. Yeah, from Toll House. It's like, so this one's Funfetti. But um, you know how like you're not supposed to really eat the cookie dough that you that you, you know, use to bake cookies with? You're not really supposed to eat that this time they have made it to where you can eat the cookie dough. Of course, me being me, the person that I am, I eat the cookie dough anyways, but that's neither here nor there. Um, you check that out. I got that from Kroger's, or Kroger. I got it from a grocery store. <laughs> okay, so this is where I am so far. I have my lettuce, I have guacamole. I ended up going with guacamole instead of hummus. I always go with hummus. So I figured I'd switch it up a little bit. Um, the wrap itself, I think it's supposed to be one of those spinach wraps. Um, I've got my sausage cooking, and I actually probably should take that out right now. But, um, this is what I got so far. Okay, 
so this is the end result. Got the lettuce, the sausage. I ended up putting some cheese in there too. Um, so yeah, this is my snack. I will be eating that. And yeah, that's it. Not much to it. Something simple, something small. I try to incorporate protein with everything that I eat. So <sighs> keeps me from being hungry throughout the day. <sighs> Made a mess in my room. I gotta clean it up. It's not a lot, but you know, I said I cleaned it up, but I don't really feel like it. But anyways, um, so I was kind of, um, how do you say, browsing, browsing through TikTok, and rude. So I was browsing through TikTok, and <clears throat> it's one of the, uh, I guess this one TikToker, um, turns out this person is like 19, maybe 19, 20, and I've been following for a minute, and you know, I'm just going to ask this question. What do y'all feed these kids? This one looks like about my age. Like, what, what, what nutrients? <laughs> what nutrients are you giving these kids? Because <laughs> they look older than what they really are. Like, what's what's going on? I, I don't like being lied to. <laughs> like, <sighs> anyways, um. So, I hadn't really been on TikTok. That's kind of the reason why I haven't really been, even been talking about it as much. I've been taking a break from it. I guess I haven't really found anything that I wanted to do. Um, I mean, really, that's just for, like, giggles. Just for the fun of it. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I'm watching one of my bloggers. Um, slash influencers, um, Aaliyah's face. I think I've mentioned her a few times before. Um, yeah, I've been just kind of relaxing today. Nothing too crazy. Today's really just been like a relaxing day. That's I really don't ever go do anything. Like, I really do need to get out more. I, I hardly ever do anything. I'm, I'm a little more, I'm, I'm a little more introverted. So, like, I have, I have a social meter too, which doesn't help any. I have a social meter. So, once it's empty, it's empty. It's like, okay, I'm ready to go. I'm done. I'm done. Like, I'll, depending on who it is, I'll, I'll stick it out, you know, for, Whoever I'm with. I had like all this stuff recorded and it didn't record. I'm annoyed. Very annoyed. But anyways. Um I tried this Tuna Creations uh the Thai chili for the first time. I mean it was okay. I guess I was expecting a lot more spice because the, the actual Thai chili sauce, which I love, is sweet. It's for me, it's like the perfect blend of sweet and spicy. So I don't know. I'm a little disappointed, just a little bit, but I'll be okay. Really push comes to shove. I have the buffalo. <clears throat> so. I didn't feel like cooking anything. I was going to make like a, um, I don't know. I don't know. I just didn't have an appetite for anything. So I kind of just did like a granola tuna situation or a combination. I'm weird like that. If I really don't feel like cooking, I'll just pick the two things that requires the least amount of work and eat that. Like I just didn't feel like it. 
I didn't feel like dealing with any pots, pans. I didn't feel like dealing with any of that. So that's what I went with. I may make a smoothie later on. <sighs> so yeah. And then I have this mess to clean up in my room. Well, it's kind of sort of not really a mess, but I still got to clean it up. So yeah, with um, with Shaman King, um, for those who actually indulge in anime, um, it's very different from the one that came on like way back when like it's very different so I mean I'm not mad just wasn't expecting that not entirely mad but just wasn't expecting it but again I do need some different anime to watch if any of you that do watch it can you like maybe suggest some things to me I mean, I'm, I'm open to any suggestions. Um, I'm just kind of just relaxing right now. I'm not doing anything. I really ever do. I hardly ever do anything. For me, it's work, home. Like, I swear, sometimes I feel like I'm just like the most boring person in the world. But, I mean, with, you know, Mama Rona out here. I guess it's better to be boring and safe than sorry. But, um, but yeah, and besides, I have like a social meter, so like when that thing is low, I don't feel like dealing with nobody, even you know, even with phone conversation. Like, if I got enough energy to talk to a good two people, two. And the majority of the time, my mom is one of them. So, you're better off texting me. If I don't answer the phone, it's more than likely somebody has filled that second slot. Like, I just, I'm more introverted anyway. So, yeah, I'm, I'm to myself a lot. But I guess I, I have my mom, so I do want to go out and do stuff, but I don't know, you know, talk to nobody. And I guess it's in moments like that where I realize how small my circle is. A lot of the people that I do hang out with, they're either not in Georgia or they're at work. And I literally made me only know five people in Georgia. That's not family. That I you know, talk to on a consistent basis. So I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. Because my stuff keeps cutting off and I'm getting annoyed. So I'm trying to watch the time, make sure it doesn't cut off. It keeps... <laughs> Anyways, thank you for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.